Hey guys, welcome back to our Discord JS tutorials. On today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make an anti join system. So, basically, what this anti join system does it uh, prevents people from joining your server if you're like in a raid. So, let's say there's like um, a lot of people joining and trying to raid your server, you can just use this command and prevent that from happening. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, for this we're actually going to use collection, we're not going to use database because um, I don't think it's necessary. So let's just, if you don't have a collection folder, just make sure to create one. Alright, just create, it, uh, create a collection folder. So you just go to index.js. Okay, so this is from the previous video, the AFK video. So uh, to create a new uh, collection, just do const, I'm just going to anti join equals new collection. Okay, so in here, you're just gonna export anti join. Alright. So um the key will be a guild ID. Guild ID and a value will be a array of user IDs. Okay. So there will be um we're gonna save the array of user IDs in here. Alright, so we're gonna start by creating a command. So let me just head on to yeah, let me just use moderation. So I'm just gonna name this ntjoin.js. Okay, so uh, basic setup. Ntjoin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we wanna make sure that the person has administrator permissions or whatever permission you want. So in my case, I'm just gonna do administrator permission, administrator return. Okay, and then um, we're gonna import the collection so equals require no slash no slash collection okay so we're gonna import anti join in here um okay so we're gonna use arguments so cons arcs uh cons query equals arc zero question mark dot to lowercase okay so if there is no query Turn message the reply. Please specify a query. Okay. So um, what's just done? I'm just gonna give few options. So the first option is gonna be uh anti join, anti join on, and then off, and then list. So the list um uh, it displays a uh, displays member that was kicked. All right, so I don't think I don't know that I want to do this with kick or ban. Um, yeah, I think I should do it with kick. All right, so one is on, one is off. All right, so the first argument, which is on, uh, we're just gonna do if query equals to on. Okay, we're gonna set a new data. So first thing is we're gonna check if the data already exists. So uh, we can do that by doing anti join dot get message dot guild id so this uh get collection so let me just define that and let me just move it outside of the on okay and then we can just do uh if get collection return message dot reply um anti join is already enabled okay and if there is no anti join we're just gonna set new data by doing um uh, anti join dot set and the message dot guild the id comma and empty array and then we can um once a member is kicked it's gonna get pushed uh his data is gonna get pushed into this array and then we can uh, use it afterwards okay so this is for on and then we can just send like message dot reply um turn on um anti join system okay or whatever okay else if query is equals to off okay if query is equals to off we're gonna delete the data so same thing we're just gonna check if the data is there first okay and then if there is no data so let me just instead of making it like this we just make it like that all right anti join is already disabled disable okay so if 
it is if there is data, so we're gonna delete data by the nt join dot delete message dot guilt id message dot chan a message dot reply um turned off nt join system. Okay, we can do that. Okay, next we're gonna list the uh, list the data. Uh, list. So this is uh, listing the members that was kicked during this. So uh, we can do this by doing um. Let me see. Uh, get collection. Okay, we can use the same thing also. Let me just copy this. There's no get collection. Uh, anti join is disabled. Okay, and then uh, if there is list, so we can. Get it by doing uh get collection dot message dot reply and then we can just do uh ban uh kicked members and then we can pass in get collection dot map and then a uh, value which is the uh the uh, member that was kicked and then we can just do value dot uh, value dot user the username value dot user dot user tag and then uh we can just do this actually return because I'm thinking that if I want to set it with a whole member object or do I want just to save the ID okay I'll just save it save a whole user object I'll save the user object so value dot tag and then comma or we can just do a bracket and we can pass in value the ID all right so um, we're gonna save instead of saving um the user ID we're gonna save the user object all right so it has all this data all right so uh, let's move on to the events so if you don't have an event handler uh, I highly suggest you to get one. You should see a card pop up right now. Just click on that, and then um, we're just gonna do ntjoin.js. If you don't have event handler, feel, uh, you can do it in in JS. Okay, so first we're gonna require the client require the slash index. Then we're gonna require the uh, collection, so equals require or slash collection. Oops. Okay, and then we're gonna require anti join in here. All right, so client not on guild member add async member, and then um cons get collection. We're gonna do the same thing. Cons get collection equals anti join dot get message dot guild id. Okay, so if there is no get collection just return all right so if there is get collection we're just going to do um get collection dot push and then we're going to push member dot user okay we can do that and then uh we're going because we're pushing the user object and then next we're going to kick the member by doing member dot kick and a reason we can give a reason of um anti join was enabled I think yeah that should be it I'm pretty sure and if you don't get collection all right so yeah, let's just test this out let me just run the bot all right okay so uh, let's just test this come out so let me just enlarge this a little bit NT join please specify a query so why NT join on okay turn it on NT join system so I kick this uh, my out account all right and I try to rejoin so let me just try that rejoin um, let me see if there's any errors message Okay, it shouldn't be message to guild ID, it should be member dot guild ID, my bad. Okay, so let's just restart this. Alright.
Okay, so let's just uh, leave the server and rejoin it. Leave server. And then I can rejoin the server. Um, there's a new error, I think. No. Oh, it's because I restarted the bot. Okay, before that, we're actually gonna do something so that it wouldn't uh, constantly log the same it's not gonna push the same um member dot user so we can do that by doing get collection dot includes we can just do something like if get collection dot includes um value and then we're gonna check it by id so value value the id is equals to member the id we're just gonna do return okay Oh, we can actually do this if there is no, uh, let me think, uh, if there is no includes, I can't remember the ID. Uh, okay, let me just do, if there is no, um, and then we can just use something like this, and then we can just put it down here. So if the data doesn't exist, we're going to push new data, or else we're just going to leave it there, alright. So uh, let me just restart the bot again. Okay, and then we can re uh, the reason that it's not working after restart because we're using collections. So if you want this to work even after restart of the bot, um, make sure you say database. Um, it's pretty simple as I just explained the system. So anti join on turned on anti join system. If I go and rejoin the server, I should be kicked, and I should be logged in the data I mean the list command so okay as you can see I've been kicked and if I do y anti join list you'll see uh kicked members recontest and then uh this is my ID so if you try to rejoin this okay it wouldn't lock two times I suppose it only uh show one member so that is the purpose of the code that we written just now or not all right so after further testing i finally found the solution um on why it's uh re-pushing data because i didn't know why what i was thinking at that time i don't know why did i make a function inside the includes function so just do if get collection that includes member that user just do this and then um just change the whole function to member that user and yeah it should work so yeah let me just show you right now so if i do y and t join list i mean y and t join off okay and then we can turn it back on on okay if i um go to my if i rejoin the server okay as you can see i'm being kicked okay so and then if i run the anti join list you see my name in here and if i do the same thing again it won't lock the second time because i make that uh, function all right so as you can see here so it works if different member if different members it's gonna get pushed inside the array which will be locked in here so yeah that should conclude today's video on the anti join system if you want to watch more discord js tutorials stay until the end you should see a playlist that you can click on so yeah click on it and then you should see tons of other videos iron that have a nice day see you again next video bye I'm close, though,